Hey YouTube, I'm back here with one of my Acer Aspire One notebooks. Sorry, netbook. <laughs> and, and this time around, instead of running Linux, as I did in my in a previous video, I'm gonna be showing you how some Windows games perform running in Windows XP. As a reminder, this is a netbook that has a, a single core Atom N270 CPU. It's running at 1.6 gigahertz and it's multi-threaded so it, it shows up as having two threads. It's got one gig of RAM and as far as I can tell this machine can't be upgraded even though it has a memory slot underneath. Uh, I've tried using two gig sticks and it doesn't take them. It's got a 160 gig hard drive and um, I've tried a, an SSD and I'll probably make a, a video uh, running uh, making a comparison uh, of this laptop running in a regular uh, spinning hard drive and an SSD to see if there's any performance differences. But for now, it's got a single SSD. I mean, sorry, a single hard drive. And um, on the side here, it has two USB ports, the charge port. It's got a webcam and uh, it's got a memory card reader down here. On the other side over here, it has microphone in speaker out, sorry, the SD card reader is right here. In the front, it has a, a Wi-Fi uh, on-off switch. It's got another USB port right here, Ethernet, VGA out, and of course, the batteries in the back. Overall, for the size of this thing, it's got a whole lot of ports. I really love that it has one USB here and two on the other side. As a gaming machine, you can imagine, I've, I've, I know I've done it, I, you can put a... Uh, a gamepad on this side and a gamepad on that side and uh, run some emulation software like for Nintendo or S Sega and, and and battle it out. So, but in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some other cool games like Quake, Unreal, Doom, SimCity, and, uh, and Command and & Conquer. So, let's get started. All right, so this is Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3, and I have installed some software here that I'm gonna show you. I have installed Command & Conquer Gold, SimCity 4, SimCoaster, Winamp, Atari Arcade, Unreal, Quake 2, Warcraft 3, X-Wing Alliance, and Doom 2. The only one here that I'm gonna, not gonna be able to show you is X-Wing Alliance, because that one requires that I have a joystick, and I currently don't have one, so I'm gonna skip that one. But I'm gonna start off with um, showing uh, Doom 2. And I'm, for DOS games, um, sometimes the Sound Blaster emulation works well, sometimes it doesn't. In Doom 2, I noticed that it does not work very well, so what I've done is I changed it so that it uses the, the PC speaker. But as you can see, it loaded up very fast. And performance is very nice. You hear the clicking, that's that's because I have a an external keyboard plugged in. Okay, so that was Doom 2. I'm not gonna go too much into it. Now I'm gonna show you some a, a, video, a game that takes advantage of the OpenGL capabilities, and this one is uh, Unreal. Now, one of the things that I did to speed up some of the loading times uh, on this on this computer is um, I defragmented the hard drive. After installing Windows and all the software, I went ahead and uh, let it and used it, the built-in um, Windows XP defragmenter to um, defragment the disk, and that helps a lot with loading because it's it makes all the files sequentially accessible. Um, so you can see here. Uh, Unreal runs really smooth. Uh, new game, hard. And I'm gonna start. Let's see if I can get a better. There you go. I 
don't really know how to play this game, but uh, as you can see here, the OpenGL capabilities of this little laptop are pretty good for a, a game of this era. Oh. I, I don't know what I'm doing, so I guess I can go here and uh, have your video. Let me see how it performs at the native resolution for the LCD, which is 1024 by 600. Oh, still performs really well. You can see a little bit of uh, choppiness, but at 1024 by 600, which is the native resolution of the LCD, still very playable. I don't know how to play this game, so I'm going to quit. All right, next up, I'm going to show you Quake. Quake 2, actually. And this is Quake 2. I'm going to make a medium level game. The glare on the screen, it's hard to get it perfectly right because uh, I gotta improve the lighting in the, when I'm recording. It's definitely very fun. I wish I knew how to. that and uh, next I'm gonna show you uh, command and conquer gold all right so this is command and conquer I'm gonna show you a uh, an example level here um, Very performant. This is the I'm gonna go ahead. And, I don't want to waste too much of your time, so I'm gonna go ahead and send you send these guys over to. Exit game and uh, Warcraft three is another another nice one here. This is Warcraft, so I'm gonna go local area network, create game, and I'm gonna create a game. And I'm going to choose a computer, a normal computer as an opponent, so that I can demo.
and this is it. This is a uh, Warcraft 3, and it runs really well, really run really fast. Definitely very playable. Like you can imagine having three or four of these little netbooks uh, and playing a, on a local area network against your friends by creating a, a game. So that's kind of cool. What you want, ready to work. Yep. Something need doing. What you want. That's cool. So I'm gonna end this game. Exit program. Exit. All right, um, I have Winamp installed, which is a nice old <laughs> uh, nostalgic uh, music player that we all remember if we've ever used Windows XP. game that I can show you here is I have uh, some Atari um, arcade games Atari Arcade. This is uh, I like Pong. <laughs> uh, you can do one level and then one player, sorry, against the computer, and uh, it's very fun. I have a mouse connected to the computer, so oh. I wonder if you can actually have two mouse two pointing devices connected to the computer and fight probably best with two joysticks or paddles okay well I'm gonna exit that and um, there's asteroids what is this missile command which I've never played asteroids Push start. Is that what is start? Oh, down here. One player. Oh, it. This looks like a. Oh. So this actually is this is made so it looks like an arcade. Oh, I blew up. All right, let me exit that, and. Um, I can show you Sim Coaster. And I have no idea how to play this game, but... I see a new recruit. Welcome. I'm the president of Sim Coaster. Our vacancy is only for a new assistant manager, but as I'm retiring, there is plenty of opportunity for promotion. The shareholders are concerned about who will take my place, and uh, in confidence, my other directors have all failed me. Well, you see, I have no idea how to play this game, so I'm gonna quit. However, I do just need your name for my personnel files. All right, that was Sim Coaster loading, <laughs> and then Sim City Four. It's another one that I don't know how to play. I, I actually like Sim City Two Thousand a lot more. Sim City Four is uh, kind of weird.
This is SimCity 4. And uh, Mayor Tutorial, I don't know, let's see that. And this is it, this is SimCity 4. And I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, seeing these, these old nostalgic games being played, um, well, being tested, not played. <laughs> and um, if you like this kind of content, uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the, the, the bell so you, you're notified whenever I get a, whenever I upload a new video. I'm gonna be uh, doing a lot more um, retro computers and um, uh, classic cars and car repair videos. So if you're into that stuff, um, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.